Hello everyone, this is Arzu. Welcome you all again in the session. So in this session, we are going to talk about Pi game. Yeah, like I told you initially that we have two libraries that we are going to learn in this module. So in this module, we have learned, uh, like we have done with the introduction of pandas and we have seen uh, the data structure that's used in pandas now we are coming to the library that is pygame now what is pygame pygame is again it's an open source library you can easily see pygame anywhere in the gaming sector so uh, if you are a fan of making games and you wish to make 2d 3d games you can definitely make games with the help of Pygame. And uh, Pygame is actually uh, built on top of SDL library. SDL is uh, like the full form of SDL is simple direct media layer. So simple direct media layer also like it provide the uh, low level access of audio, keyboard, mouse, joystick, graphics hardware, why OpenGL and Direct3D. So don't go in that much deep. I'll just let you know uh, why Pygame is famous because it's, you know, very flexible and versatile. That's why it's famous everywhere. Now let's start with the Pygame library. I will tell you in this session how to uh, build the window uh, of Pygame. Like, uh, Whenever you learn a Pygame library, you will definitely have to make the window. And it's very easy to use. I will let you know how. So I'm just sharing my screen with all of you and we'll let you know what we can do next. I'm sharing. So my screen, I think it's visible. When you type REPL.it, you will find this link. As I told you from the beginning, you can come over here and you can go to create REPL. Once you go to create REPL, you will find the libraries here and here you will find the library Pygame. You will click on Pygame and I can write name first project. And I will click on create REPL. So this way you can create your REPL and here is your Pygame REPL. Like what we will do next. Actually, this is the command that's already given to make the window, but we will be writing down the command to explain you so well. You know, uh, the very first command that we will give is import Pygame because of course you need to import your library as Pygame. Then I will set the background color for the Pygame window. Okay, press enter. Then you will write background color and is equals to. So the color, you can take any color of your choice. I will let you know how to take color. If you will write HTML colors, and you press enter here you will find html color codes okay so you have lots of color and for every color you have the code like see rgb code suppose if i want my pygame window of this color so i will just copy this code i will come over here and i will paste this code color okay so this way like this will be the color of uh, the background I will get. Now I will write the command screen because uh, like how much wide you want your Pygame display to show. So I will write pygame.display.set mode and uh, uh, this I will write as 300 and 300 like I'm giving uh, height and width for the display so you can write it like this now you will write pygame dot display i want to set the caption for pygame dot display okay uh set and here i will write set caption because i want to set the caption for pygame and here i will write the caption as go 
global phase. Okay, this will be the caption of my pie cave. Like a uh, caption will come as a title. Now I will write screen dot fill background color. Okay, background color. I made one variable and now I'm calling this that background color will be my color of the screen. Now the next step is pie game dot display dot flip. So why we take this command? This command is for updating the display uh, every time. Like I set some things. Now I want to update my display. That's why it's coming like that. Now I will write running equals to true. Because of course I want this thing, this condition has to be true. And uh, I will put the while loop while running means when uh, while running then I will put for loop. So this is actually the game loop. Okay. And now for loop for event in pi game dot event dot get I will take if conditional statement I will let you explain event dot type is equals to pi game dot quit and running equals to false. So this is done. Now let me explain you what is happening in line number seven running true means whatever the condition I am giving it is true here. Now while running when it is running for the event. Event is means something is going to happen. When you are doing something, then something is going to happen. So when event in pygame.event.get, actually this pygame.event.get is indicating that something is going to happen, then only uh, we'll do uh, something. Okay, so in line number 10, I am indicating like what thing is going to happen, what event is going to happen. So in line number 10, I'm saying if Event dot type is equal to pygame dot quit means you have a window and if user click on this cross means if user wants to close this window then this is going to happen then what is going to happen inside the if I am giving a condition because if is a conditional statement so in line number 11 I am saying that running false whatever the running is it will false means your window will close and everything whatever I set up it will close okay now I will run and check the command like what is happening here the next one run it and see this is my window and the title of the window is given as go global ways here let me full screen this mm, i think yeah close this and let's run it again and see it comes like this okay so this is the title and this is the screen color and now if i click on this cross then everything will stop okay so i'll just close this and i'll come out the command so that's what uh about the pi game window now on this window we will be making some very amazing and exciting games in the next part Till then, wait for the next video. Bye-bye.